Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting a machine that has taken the specialty coffee world by storm, the eagerly anticipated La Marzocco Linea Micra. The Micra is the first machine from famous Italian manufacturers La Marzocco that is designed specifically for home use. The Micra is an even smaller version of the already very popular La Marzocco Linea Mini. To present the Micra, I'm going to go over all of its features, I'm going to tell you some of the differences between this machine and its bigger brother, the Mini, and then I'll also make some drinks in order to demonstrate this machine in action. The first thing that we notice with the Micra is really how small it is. The machine is only 12 inches wide, 15 inches deep, and 12 inches high, so it will fit in almost any space. Inside the machine, there's a rotary pump. It's a new style miniature rotary pump, uh, but what that gives us is that uh, the pump is quieter, of course, uh, and it also can be plumbed in. So this machine comes standard as a pour over, so there's a water tank just behind here, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, but the machine can be plumbed in with the purchase of a plumb in kit. The Linea Micra, of course, is a dual boiler machine. It features a 1.6 liter steam boiler, uh, which for home use is plenty. You're gonna get a nice, powerful steam, and it has a 0 0.25, a 250 milliliter uh, coffee boiler. The coffee boiler is PID controlled, so we can set the temperature in there, dial it in exactly for our espresso to get the best possible flavor. The heat up time on the Linea Micra is also very fast. The machine will be ready to brew coffee within five minutes of turning it on. That's quite extraordinary. On the front of the machine, we see two manometers or pressure gauges. The one on the left measures pump pressure and that's gonna be at nine bars when the pump is running. And the one on the right is the pressure inside the steam boiler. The Linea Micra has three steam settings uh, for your steam power, one, two, and three. I have it at the top setting, which is three, and it sits just under two bars at about 1.9 bars. That's a lot of steam pressure. Up here we have the hot water spout, and of course we just open this and we get hot water from the steam boiler if you wanna make an Americano or some tea. On the right hand side is of course the steam wand, and this is double walled steel, so it's a cool touch, so while it's running, we can still touch the outside without burning our hand. Like the Linea Mini, uh, the Micra is controlled using a paddle. The paddle's a little bit smaller, and this is basically just a switch. It's just to turn the pump on and turn it off. This machine, of course, is in white, uh, but the Linea Micra at launch is available in seven different colors. Uh, white, black, uh, light blue, red, uh, stainless steel, yellow, and silver. One thing that's new that's been getting a lot of uh, discussion uh, is the new style portafilter that La Marzocco has made for the Linea. And this is a modular style portafilter, so uh, I have my single spout uh, on here, but this is actually removable, and I can have a bottomless portafilter if I want to, so uh, I can do a bottomless extraction, or it also comes with a dual spout, which can uh, basically just be put in here very easily, and then you can have, uh, or you can make a double shot using a dual spout. Inside the box, the machine will come, of course, with a portafilter. It comes with this tamper right here, which is kind of neat. It's a stainless steel tamper. It has the La Marzocco logo. You get a nice La Marzocco uh, frothing pitcher. That's a 12-ounce pitcher engraved with the La Marzocco logo. And there's single and double baskets and also a, a blind basket for your back flushing. Also included is back flushing detergent. Uh, you get a fairly large jar, uh, which for home use really is almost a lifetime supply. The Linea Mini had a temperature control wheel on the left-hand side of the machine. That's gone from the Micra. The Micra is a fully connected machine, so all of the settings are set using the La Marzocco Home app. And I'm gonna show you some of the settings in there right now. So this is the La Marzocco Home app, and it's connected to my machine. Uh, you'll see a menu of four different options, and I'll explain each of those uh, for you now. The first one is status, and when I press the status button, you're given the uh, important information about the machine. My coffee boiler temperature is currently set to 91 degrees Celsius. Of course, if you're more comfortable with Fahrenheit, you can change that to Fahrenheit in the settings, very easy to do. And my steam power is set to three. And that's basically the steam power, like I said before, you only have three options, one, two, or three. Up here, this green setting here is also if I wanna turn the steam boiler off. So I've pressed that, that turns the steam boiler off, and that's useful if you only wanna make an espresso. There's no point in wasting energy in uh, uh, heating up that steam boiler, um, and you can turn it on and off very simply. I'm gonna leave it on because I will be making a cappuccino shortly. When I go back to the main menu, just below status, we have the auto on and off. And this is actually a pretty cool feature. So you can turn, uh, the machine can be set to turn on at a certain time each day and then to be turned off. 
Uh, very simple, you have a seven day calendar. I can go to Monday right here and I'll set it to turn on, for example, I'm an early riser, so I'm gonna set it to turn on at five o'clock and then I'll have it go into standby at eight o'clock because I'll be at work by eight. Uh, and uh, very simple. And I can also copy this to other days. Uh, it's, that's very useful because uh, people tend to have different schedules Monday to Friday than maybe they do on Saturday or Sunday. And just update that and I'll write it, of course, to the machine. And on Monday morning, the machine will turn on at 5 a.m. Now let me show you the settings. Here we have a couple of different options. Information uh, basically shows us you know, information about the machine, uh, the uh, uh, firmware version and the uh, software version. You know, generally you're not gonna be using that too much, but you can also go in there and reset the settings. Uh, time format, you can change what you're comfortable with, whether a, a 12 hour clock AM, PM or a 24 hour clock. I have mine set to a 24 hour clock. Then in the temperature, we set the temperature inside the boiler. Like I had mentioned, I have 91 degrees. We have the steam power, one, two, or three. And this is where you would change your units, Celsius or Fahrenheit as well. And the next feature is pretty cool. This is the pre-brewing and pre-infusion setting. So we can set a pre-brewing feature on and pre-brewing basically means um, the uh, machine will uh, turn the pump on and brew for a few seconds and then pause and then uh, turn the pump on again. It's a little bit different than pre-infusion. Pre-infusion in order to work requires the machine to be plumbed in. Uh, when the machine is plumbed in, we can use the line pressure, which is actually a lower pressure than your pump, the line pressure to pre-infuse the puck uh, for a certain amount of time and then begin your extraction. My machine is not plumbed in, unfortunately, uh, so I'm just gonna leave these settings off. The last feature in the settings, or the last option in the settings, is the auto standby, and that's uh, basically uh, how long the machine um, can sit idle. Uh, it's set to 30 minutes, uh, so if I don't use the machine for 30 minutes, it's going to go into power savings mode and turn off the heating elements. Finally, in the main menu, we have stats. Uh, this is very simple. It's basically how many times we've brewed using this machine in the last, for example, 30 days. You can see this machine is quite new. There's only two brewings. Um, but we can get doses detail as well. Kind of gives you, gives you an insight into how much you're using your machine, how many coffees you're making. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a lot, a lot more than two. That's the app and you can see it's uh, actually quite easy to use and it gives you a lot of control over the machine uh, to really get the most out of your coffee. Now we're gonna make some drinks and the first drink that I'm gonna make is two shots of espresso and in order to do that, I'm just gonna change the spout. So I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna put my dual spout on here. Uh, very simple to change. I've got the dual spout and I'm gonna grind my coffee and alongside the Linea Micra, I'm using the brand new Eureka Minion Libra grinder. This is a grind by weight grinder. I have it set to deliver 16 grams of coffee. And I'm using an NCD distributor to level out my grinds and the tamper of course that comes with the micro. Insert it there. Put my cups down and turn on the pump and the machine begins extracting. You can hear, of course, the pump is very quiet. That is that rotary pump. Uh, it's a nice and quiet machine. I'll stop it right there. Let the last couple of drops go in. And you can see we have uh, two really beautiful shots of espresso, beautiful striping. Uh, they're, ready to, uh, they're ready to enjoy. Mm. A second drink I'm gonna make is a milk-based drink. And I've already ground my coffee. It's inside the portafilter. I've got my pitcher here. So I'm gonna just place my two cups right there. And this is a dual boiler machine, so I'm gonna be drawing my espresso and steaming at the same time. So first I just wanna purge a little of the steam, make sure there's no water inside my steam. And then I begin extracting. And over here, I begin steaming. Now the steam power at three is very powerful. Actually, for a small pitcher like this, you have to be quite careful. Uh, 
That's it. Give my wind, wand a wipe. Purge one more time. Stop my espresso. And then I just add the milk. One. And two, very simple. Mm, and very tasty too. So the last drink that I'm gonna demonstrate is an Americano. And I just wanna show you something here with my cup. You see my cup's a little bit too tall. So it's running into the spout. So I'm actually gonna remove the spout and do a bottomless extraction. So I'm actually first gonna grind my coffee because this grinder is set to work with the spouts. Now that I have my coffee ground, I'm just gonna remove these spouts. I'm gonna go over here and tamp. Now I like to do my Americano's uh, uh, coffee second water first, so I'm just gonna add my water here from the left hand side. Stop it right there, gonna allow the machine to refill. That sound you heard is the pump coming on to refill the boiler. Gonna place my glass here and extract my espresso. You can see we're getting quite a nice extraction actually considering that this grinder is brand new. I was expecting a little bit of channeling but no, it's, uh, it's extracting quite nicely. Stop it right there and you can see it's really a beautiful Americano. See the cremas rested on the top. Amazing presentation. It looks delicious. La Marzocco is a brand that of course needs no introduction. They've earned legendary status in the specialty coffee market. You see La Marzocco commercial machines in so many of the world's best cafes, uh, specialty cafes all around the world. Uh, you see La Marzocco uh, time and time again. This machine is an entry into the home market and they wanna help you bring that cafe experience into your kitchen. And I think that with the Micra, they've done a tremendous job because this machine is a lot more approachable than maybe their other uh, home themed machines like the GS3 or the Linea Mini, which are considerably larger. The Micra has everything you need to make cafe quality drinks at home. It has dual boilers, a rotary pump, temperature stability. It really is quite fantastic. If you have any questions about the La Marzocco Linea Micra, the Eureka Mignon Libra, or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like these about espresso machines, coffee machines, everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching and have a great day.